All right, welcome back. We, uh, you guys are in a cave. Well, you've decided that you're gonna go in a cave. Oh well, yeah, we sticking to that commitment, guys. Or... <laughs> of course, I'm committed. Why not? Yep. Uh, not much. Leosin, uh, not many other options. Leosin gave you a warning that if you went in there, you were fools and you were very likely going to die. And when you guys asked why, he told you there's dragons in there. Can we be honest, though? Like, fools is not the worst thing we've been called in this whole game. So it's fine. What is the worst thing you've been called in this game? I'm not sure, but I feel like we've been talked down. Or at least I have. <laughs> a lot. Besides, wait, wait, little one isn't that bad. No, little one I find it too. Well, you're old. And besides, for being an elf, his name sounds very Icelandic. I don't trust it. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, all right we're doing this I mean, yeah i think it'd be best are those get it over with. so if i remember correctly from last week the guards that were outside had gone in correct correct they are now within the cave Right. Uh, can, can I remember there was some like I think Susie had seen the entrance of the cave, but we haven't yet. We turned around and saw it. I think we all yeah. saw. It. We, okay. All right. Uh, yeah. We'll just, uh, just try to in the cover of night make our way through this cave or to this cave. Oh yeah, it's sweet. really easy to make it to the cave under cover of night, especially because in this particular area of the camp there are no people. So you make it to the cave. Yeah. You now stand outside of the cave. Looking into it, it's pretty dark. In there. So, do we see any like sources of light uh, into the cave? Like, you do not see thing? any sources of light at this time. Is it magically dark? Because I can see in darkness created by magic. Ooh, you got magic. It doesn't dark. seem like it's magically dark. Oh, Is it magic? It seems like it's nighttime, and All there's right. a cave. I'm gonna cast light at the end of my hammer. And hold it in front like a hold it in front like a torch. Are you gonna hold it directly in front of you? Yeah, but just kind of up in front, kind of like a torch. Yeah. Okay. I'll uh I'll stand next to Moni then, since I also don't have dark vision, and I would like to see. Um, it's blinding to to pretty much everybody. You guys can't see very far past this light because of how bright it is. Uh, so Moni, being the dwarf, when he holds it up, he's holding it into eye level of everybody else. So before you, all you guys see now is a ball of light. And because you're also pretty much holding it just out in front of you, you don't see past it because what you see is light just shining back in your face. I turn off the light. You turn off the light. <laughs> I mean, is there a way he could hurl the light that it doesn't cause blindness? He can herald the light? Herald the light. What does that mean? Oh, I also have light as a cantrip. Is that different? Let me see. No, that's the same thing. I'm I'm confused by the question. What'd you what'd you say again, Roland? Uh is there any way he can hold the light that it doesn't blind everybody? Oh yeah, totally. Absolutely. Okay. Maybe this is a puzzle. If you is hold that, it directly above your head, it's not in front of you and you can't see it. All right, I do that then. I've right, reflipped so on the switch again. And I do that. <laughs> and Ryoko have a really hard time seeing see. because it's still right in front of them. That's but your the shorties, you guys can see really well into the Can cave. he hold it to his side, I guess, so that it doesn't, like, <laughs> blind anybody? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I try then, that. What hand <laughs> is your hammer in? Um, It's my right hand. All right, so you hold it off to the side. Is there anybody over there? I guess we're like, all to his left. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so this isn't a problem? Um, damn, I, yeah. I didn't realize light was such a powerful cantrip. Well, I fucking should use this in combat, man. I really oh. thought there was an adjustment button on it. I, I, <laughs> I have listen, a question. Man, I'm, I'm thinking you should use this yeah. to your advantage. Next time, if someone's right in front of you, just cast light. I guess it causes <laughs> blindness. Totally know this. That's good to know. But so it says in the spells Ooh, that covering something with opaque blocks, uh, something opaque blocks the light. So if we have like something that is fabric y, would that then dim the light if something will block it? Like yeah. a lamp screen? 
Cool. Yeah. What are our what are our cloaks made out of? Can we just put like a cloak over it? Yeah. Would that work? Cloak your hammer? I don't know. Are we still on this? Did we move away already while I was trying to read that? <laughs> so I, 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 I think we made something that works, but I like your cloak. Oh, JK. Hammer. LOL. That, acronyms. No, because I, I like your cloaking thing because I think it makes... Oh, no, actually, I think it's probably best not to just because I feel like the cloak might get in the way of Moni if he has to swing his hammer later. Yeah. <laughs> you can just cast it on your shoe. Wait, what? Oh, no, cast shoe. light on your shoe? Yeah, it's just on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> It's like one of those little glow in the dark shoes you used to have yeah, as a kid every time it steps down. <laughs> <laughs> Got them light up stickers. <laughs> oh my god. You made a mess in here already. You little shits. <laughs> yeah, you got it from T the Cave now. Um, so as you, you walk into this cave, how much light do you have? What is it? 30 feet? I think 30, 30, be bright, 30 dim, 30 bright, 30 light, dim. Was it just a hand trip? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's 20 feet and then 20. 20 yep. Oh, 20, 20, 20. 20. Okay. Mm -hmm. So as you guys, uh, walk forward as a group, uh, you, it, this cave goes on for hundreds of feet deep into the to the side of this small mountain. And after hundreds of feet, you actually come to a very steep drop. And it's not straight down, uh, but it is difficult to uh, traverse without slipping because of how steep and rocky it is. Uh, because of how rocky it is, you guys do have several different handheld uh, hand options, uh, but you do not see the bottom when we you stand at the top. We can hold hands. Like, yeah. guys, we want our hand hold options to be dibs on Yoko. I like it's that. Yeah, it's dibs on me. Hey, uh, wait a minute. Uh, Modi, can you, like, cast light on a rock and just, like, toss it down there and see if you can a little bit? Yes, I cast light on a rock straight ahead about 30 feet. Oh, I mean, like, yeah. just this rock right here, and then I just drop it, you know? Okay, let me try that. And I do it. <laughs> there is no try and I do you, <laughs> you drop that rock and you see it roll down this steep incline and it bounces oh, off stone, guys. the rocks uh, and, it, and it veers <laughs> off to the side it hits a wall and it slowly starts to pick up speed as it, be, as it continues to roll down and you guesstimate that it rolls down roughly 80 feet before it comes to a rest against some kind of wall okay we got about 80 minutes movement to go. Uh, so what was this Susie about holding hands? Um, I noticed there's a lot of handholds between us. And also no, in the rocky no. surface is to climb. I'm sorry. I don't understand. What does this mean? It was a bad joke kind of that the DM said that nobody else heard. It's fine. I, know. We'll I, I, understand. <laughs> I understood what you meant. We're pretending it didn't happen, you guys. It's fine. No, I keep giving her a hard time. She's 12. She needs to learn. <laughs> I made his friendship bracelets. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> you can I thought you only them. made those for Ryoko. <laughs> it's fine, Roland. Puts his back on my wrist. <laughs> <laughs> you can earn yeah, this I water, I just did it. <laughs> All right, so how, how do we want to go down this? What are you guys thinking? Anybody got any cool ideas? I think I have a Dungeoneer's pack. I have rope. I just don't know how long the rope is. 50, 50, 50, feet, 50 of feet of rope. rope. I was thinking of using my shield as a sleigh to go down, but I thought. Well, I mean, I if you want to go balls to the wall, I guess. Can I, can you just imagine There's a wall. A right, it ran into a wall. <laughs> the rolling light rock. It sounds good in my head, but no. No, right, but like, just got... imagine you're a guard or a dragon in the distance, and you just hear like a sled over rocks, <laughs> and then like a giant thud, <laughs> and like the ooh, Moni's and... head splitting open, and then a loud oh. Scottish curse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how I imagined it going, and I was like, you know, if I was my barbarian, it would be a great idea. But no, this would no. This is, gonna work. Uh, is there anything around us that, like up here, that it looks like we could tie a rope to? 
Oh yeah, there's uh stalagmites. Okay, wonderful. The ones that are on the ground, yes. I have featherfall. Can we just use featherfall on the way down? Oh. That's actually a really good idea. Do you are you okay with using a slot for that? Do you see how surprised Roland was about that? What? No, uh, I said this is great. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> that's actually a really good idea. From yeah, I'm acknowledging that's a great idea. It happens. What do you? <laughs> Susie, um, I give you so much props all the time. I don't know what you're talking no, about. No, I'm just <laughs> I love our group. Um, yes, I do have enough spell slots for it that I could use okay. it. Sounds good. Let's do it. All right. All right. Cast away. <laughs> I choose you guys to you. And we go. I don't know what else. I, like, nope. I, and then, yeah. Yeah, I just jump. Jump. <laughs> she cast it. <laughs> you you, you want to use one spell slot per person. I just want to make sure. No. Oh, is that really what it says? She's up to five within range. Yeah. Oh, then never mind. I don't know the spell. <laughs> I never used it. Yeah, I like you guys, but not five spell slots per person. <laughs> okay, cool. Aww. So, yeah, you cast Feather Fall on everybody. And uh, as you guys kind of leap forward, uh, off the precipice of this steep incline, you begin to fall gently through the air. Uh, anybody want to like, do some flips? Yeah. Oh, yeah do this. I actually start using... I, can do. I start getting my uh, my shield and I start doing little flips and grabs on it like Tony Hawk style. Like, okay. <laughs> Roll for dexterity. And yes. Van, what did you say? I, I was just going to... I'm just doing this. Like I said, I'm Mary Poppins. But I don't have an umbrella. Roll performance. All right. Rolling. Uh, yes, I would also like to do it. Like, I want to cannonball myself and just do as many flips as possible. 15. Okay. Uh, to, to find out how... 15, remember that number. Uh, to find out how many flips you do, I just need a acrobatics check from you. Uh, Ryoko, you want to do anything super cool? I want to um, play patty cake with my best friend Susie Weavers on the way down. Okay, I need both of you guys to <laughs> roll uh, together uh, for dexterity. Uh, Van, what did you get on your roll? A 19. A 19? People <laughs> think it's like the funniest thing. <laughs> As look, you I uh, run run from the thing. down, to, down the, the, the descent as Mary Poppins. Uh, <laughs> with a roll of 15, Moni, you do some super sick kick flips. You do some feigned ollies. Uh, you even throw in a Christ air for, for flavor. Nice. And you net yourself roughly 16,000 points. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Roland, what did you roll? I have a dirty 20 on my acrobatics. You do a solid 20 flips. All right. <laughs> What's a dirty 20? Uh, it's a non-natural 20, so it's just a way for your DM to know you didn't roll 20. Nice. Filthy 20. Susie, <laughs> Susie real of that. Guys I had a 22. I also had a dirty 20. Sounds it's like, like you guys have been playing patty cake with each other since you guys have been growing up. Because like you don't miss a single clap or smack. And and <laughs> as you get faster, you, like you guys you don't miss anything and you guys are even able to do like the whole verbal tongue twister about it like flawlessly it's Yay. super impressive yes. mary poppins is particularly <laughs> <laughs> and then you guys arrive down uh, at the bottom of this descent and you see that uh that wall that the rock had hit it's not just a, a wall but it seems to be a giant curtain that hangs across the, the passage. It's made from hundreds of heavy heavy leather strips, each about the width of a human hand. The strips are fixed to the ceiling and look long enough to drag on the floor. The curtain extends from wall to wall, and all the leather seems as though it comes from a variety of local animals, and it's been badly cured. Uh, this curtain is several layers thick, it doesn't have any gaps, and you can't see through it at all. Um, how long were the strips? Can we tell how long? You said to the ceiling, but what what is the ceiling from our perspective? The ceiling is 10 feet. Okay. Mm. 
Sorry, 15. 15 feet. Okay. Um, I, I, I wade through, like, uh, the first layer of strips. The smell of old blood assaults your nose. Oh. What does that smell like? Um, iron. Okay. Magnesium. If it's old, is it rusted? Rusty. Rusty iron. It's like if you took a roll of pennies and stuck it in your mouth. I smell pennies. Yeah. All right. I'll do it for the sake of authenticity. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, so we just you know, like he just pushes across and then we just smell this old blood. Yep. Okay, I mean. Can we like look around and make sure there's like nothing lingering? Like old blood? Like what could have caused the old blood? Like that the space is empty? Uh, oh, I haven't. I haven't the weird part. leather strips. Oh, 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 oh the leather strips. Okay, that makes sense. I thought we were just standing there in an empty room smelling old blood. I was like, this seems safe. No, no it's no. like <laughs> hundreds of animals were skinned and then not even tried to turn into like actual leather. They just hung up the belts. I lean into the group and I say, two of you go first. Sounds good. I just kind of like <laughs> use my uh, axe and just kind of like start pushing through the leather. I didn't know you had an axe. Oh, uh, yeah. I have, I have two axes I throw occasionally. Oh, okay. He calls them axe one and axe two, depending on the performance. <laughs> There's a interlude. Oh, that's what I did my fist. Interlude. <laughs> you you feel uh, when you when you walk forward, you feel your feet falling into what is covered. Uh, uh, the floor is being covered in dried puddles of dried blood. Ooh. <laughs> we, we didn't decide who the second person was. I uh, look around and I just like, I, I guess I'll go. And I kind of just like swim through the, the strips. I immediately return after him. <laughs> you swim through the strips after Roland. And as you continue uh, through this dried blood on the floor, uh, you can... You, you now see that there are some uh, columns and spaces uh, between the, the leather curtains where chains have been strung between them like, like a clothesline. You guys want to continue forward? Yes, being very Absolutely. careful to yes. move the uh, metal strands out of the way. As you continue forward, you see more and more of these chain uh, th these chain-like clotheslines, and you see that Animal carcasses have been hung from hooks on these chains. You see gutted and skinned antelope, deer, goats, something that might be a large cat, perhaps even a small, uh, a few small bears. Uh, a lot of this meat has been here for quite a while, and you can tell just by the smell that fills the air. Is it like? Does it feel like there's any attempt to keep these things like preserved? Like, is it cold in here at all? Or uh, inside the cave, it is rather cold, mm. but it's not like freezing. Like, it wouldn't keep meat for very long. Gotcha. Like it's not meat locker cold. It's like sweater weather. <laughs> like a light sweater. Yeah. Mm. What is that? April twenty third. It's about April 23rd. It's not too warm. It's not too cold. All you really need is a light jacket. Thank you for kidding. <laughs> okay, yeah, we press on. Um, yeah. Yeah. Right. As you Quietly, press though. On, it's not like we're going to these metal chains thing. Like, our presence. <laughs> Good specifications. I, I start punching the meat for some reason. I don't know why, but I have set an urge. Oh, it just God. feels right. <laughs> <laughs> on you. I stop and I'm like, what am I doing this? I, I just don't feet. understand. <laughs> uh, roll me, uh, just roll me an athletic real quick, Roland. You got it. That is a, another dirty 20. <laughs> yeah, you, you immediately feel as though uh, some kind of fitness montage has taken place and you, you become just a little bit stronger. Um, for the next day, I'm going to give you a plus one on strength checks. Cool. Oh, nice. <laughs> Noted. Please remind me to 
change this later. <laughs> it's like I encourage you guys to be ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> it's only going to get worse from here. <laughs> Right after that little bit's over, uh, we press on. <laughs> you can you continue on for uh, for a great long while. For roughly fifty feet, you have to wade through these bloody meat curtains uh, until eventually these curtains open up into a large room. Uh, what you see in this very large room is is a few flickering oil lamps around the edge, providing some dim light. You also see what looks to be a shrine, and before this shrine kneels four beings. Do they see us? They have not seen you yet. Is there light in the room? There is dim light coming from flickering lanterns lining uh, lining the room. I turn off the light on my uh, on my hammer. All right, you turn off the light on your hammer. I'm just gonna move you guys. I uh, whisper to Susie. Uh, do either of these? Uh, do any of these guys look familiar? I'm not sure. I double check my notes. DM, do they look familiar? One creature in particular seems to look familiar. It's definitely uh, he not the, elf. the He's the third one. The third one looks familiar. <laughs> it's not Ryoko, it's the other third one. It's I was like, like, wait a minute. <laughs> There's another third? I shall battle to the death. For the right to be third. <laughs> For the right to be third? That should be a good t-shirt for you. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Um, it's like a middle child syndrome. You, Everybody wants to be first and second. So when you're the middle child, you're like, I'll just be third. It's fine. <laughs> if you ain't third, you're last. <laughs> Hello. Oh, puppers. Hello. Hello. Little. She's the unlikely Everybody mother. go ahead and roll some stealth. Cool. All right. Not my strong suit. Uh, I would have had an 18, but seeing I'm rolling at disadvantage, I have a 4. I also have a 4. Wait, I have a 15. <laughs> I have an 18. Seven. Welcome to our TED Talk. Right, so Moni does extinguish his, his hammer. But not before these guys have taken notice. So the the hammer is extinguished. The third being stands and turns towards you while the other three remain kneeled. Uh Roland, give me a perception check. Got it. Oh, Sixteen. Is this uh, Mr. Kynrath? Uh, you oh, Mev Shagin. Mev Shagin. Oh, Mev Shagin. I need to. And Kanye. Hang on, I need to spell this like it sounds so I remember it. Mev Shagin. And as he sees you, he says, "You recover quickly. I don't know whether to be disappointed or pleased to see that you've survived. A mix of both, I think." I wasn't done yet. I square up. He he <laughs>, laughs, and the other three beings stand and turn. He he points a spear at you, Roland, and he says, "If you've come looking for trouble, I am the trouble you seek." And then he he says to his goons around him, "The dwarf is mine." Oh fuck yeah! Rematch. I have <laughs> nothing. 
No, Everybody okay. rolls initiative. Oh, I was so, guys. I'm so smart. I saved some of my key points and a rage. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> All right. Uh, but, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, I mean, oh man. Uh, I'm not rolling. Not not the best rolls today. Right off the bat. Saving it for combat. I freaking <laughs> hope so, because otherwise I am not gonna do good. Mev Shagin's about to wipe the floor with me round three. The first What's time I saw so... Mev Shagin. That sounds What's the second time? No, it's the, he beat me so bad the first time at Counter Two. Oh, I see. <laughs> God, I wish I was playing a more charismatic character. I would have done something completely different. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I'm playing such a charismatic character and do not use it at all. Damn it, Van. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we talked about this. We need you to face, God damn it. 20 to 25. Yeah, that's 15 to 20. Lower your expectations. Oh, wait, I had 18. <laughs> Oh, you can go first. Yeah, I don't go no, first. I don't want to go first. You go first. <laughs> I'll go first. Yes. Susie, you have 18 too? Yes. No, just 18. <laughs> ah, <laughs> <she wins>. ah. <laughs> My head. Uh, <laughs> 10 to 15. 10. Who are you yelling at? Am I being robbed? Is that what's happening here? Remy, what's happening? Give us your treats. I'm just barking at nothing. More chocolate. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, clearly. <laughs> I'll spare your life if there are almonds. Remy's barking at the reaper right now. I'm going to take my other dog. <laughs> Five to ten? Eight. Who has eight? Van. Van has eight. Yep. Okay. I have three. I know they didn't get to me, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Is not looking good for a rematch. On... Yeah, no. Uh, you know, this. he just uh, he, he had the first move, you know. Looks like every single Rocky movie, he gets the floor wiped with him in the beginning, and then he comes back for a badass rematch. I'm not going to lie to you. It's not looking like that's going to be this movie right now. This is looking more like <laughs> Rocky 3, yeah. where I got my ass beat by Clubber Lang. We're going to find out. Ryoko, kick us off. All right. Um, I am going to... Let's see. I'm going to pull out my short bow. And I am going to shoot at the man that is all the way to the right. I, and I, I put okay. my shoulder on her so that she has guidance while she does that. Yes. Like, do they just say it like that? All right, go for it. 22. That's my magic number tonight. You, Taylor. That'll hit. Is there a song about that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure, no. No, it's no, 21. There's definitely not a song about it. Certainly not Yet. from an artist we talk about weekly. And he said, we need to hit the, we need to hit the three guys. Um, Although we did listen to it like four times at work today. So. Heck yeah. Oh my God. Is your job one of those places where to boost morale, they play music, but like from pop stations? Yeah. Uh, uh, it was on that, the happy station from Sirius XM. I'm so sorry. Guys. The happy station. <laughs> I'm always happy when she's singing. Every two and a half hours, they played an Incubus song. So it wasn't all bad. That's not terrible. I mean, I God, I remember I used to work at Amazon. Like halfway through the holiday season, they were like, "Oh, let's play music to boost morale." Opposite effect. Everyone's like, "Take it away!" Yeah, I was like, "Well, I mean, you're happy to listen to something because you know you're not supposed to listen to music at all, even though everybody has their own headphones." Um, <laughs> but yeah, that was pretty bad. That's so funny. I got a six damage. Six damage. Yeah. Whoa. Your your arrow finds its mark, though it doesn't seem to slow him down. That's Susie. It for my turn. Yeah, I'm gonna just do an eldritch blast at that same guy. All right, cool. 
And it's a 17 hit. Oh, yeah. So nine for the first blast. And then I don't think it's the second one was a 12. I don't know if that hits. Both of them miss. Oh, they both missed? They both miss. Oh, I thought the first one you said hit. No! I give her a pat on the back and I tell her, it's okay. Thank you for her help earlier. <laughs> you said the first one was a nine, right? Uh, nine damage. The first one was the... Uh, what was it? 11 plus... It was 17 to hit. Oh, then yeah, that one definitely hit. Okay. And it was nine damage. I don't know why I missed that. My bad. It's all good. It's small. It was more damage than me. You did great. Right. It, it hits him, though he seems unfazed. Had a feeling. Unlike him. He has none. <laughs> <laughs> so, Moni. This guy rushes forward to meet you head on. And he begins swinging at you with a great axe. Does an 18 hit? It just hits. And you take six damage. Urgh. All right. Van. Yeah. This guy rushes forward. And with does a fourteen hit? Um, it does is that with disadvantage? Oh, it's not. Is it? Uh, what do you have going for you? It's because uh, the cloak of displacement. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, so it's actually just a straight roll because uh, he gets advantage on attack rolls. Oh, okay. Then I'm gonna re-roll it though, and that one's definitely a miss because a seven's probably not gonna hit you. It does not. I will take that. All right. He just has advantage. What a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a feature. Oh, that... no, you're, you're good. I just, I just, I was making a joke. Just fucking. The, know. the good news is, is, um, you guys have advantage on attack rolls against, against them. Oh, interesting. Uh, yeah. Did he let out a war cry, perhaps, before he went into combat? <laughs> uh, they're berserkers, so they are reckless at the moment. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes. Good, good. <laughs> I see. They All right. The Here it is, Roland. All right, let's go. Right off the rib. Knock me out. Mev <laughs> comes uh, barreling straight for you. Does a 15 hit? Yes, but I'll block it with my face. <laughs> In true style, Rocky style. <laughs> awesome. Uh, so you're going to take 10 damage as he comes in swinging his greatsword. Ow. And uh, 15 to hit? Uh, yes, that'll also hit. Oh, sorry, 16 to hit. My bad. That will hit more. <laughs> <laughs> and 14 damage. 14 damage in the second one, okay. Right, looking rough. Moni. All right, seeing all these gentlemen getting in close to us, I am going to cast a level three Spirit Guardians. <laughs> oh, nice. So I need all three of them to do a wisdom save. Okay. And I need to beat a 14. So the two Berserkers... One of them passes. Uh, it's... This guy here, he passes. Okay. The gentleman next to Vanner, Vanneran, he fails. 
All right. And then as far as Mev goes, he also passes. All right, so I'm going to... Do you want me to just roll them all in one group? Yes. All right. So the one who failed takes 13 damage and the 13 radiant damage and the one who pa- and the ones who pass take half a 13. It's always rounded down so it's 6. 6, yeah. But what's the area effect cuz I think that lasts until you hold concentration, right? Let me yeah, read for 10 minutes. Yep. For 15 feet. Yep. So 15 foot radius or 15 foot diameter? Radius. Radius, radius. Right, cool. fifteen foot radius, and their movement is halved, whether they pass awesome. or fail. You said fifteen radius. Yeah, fifteen radius. From okay. Him. And right. they remake that save at the start of their turns, as long as they're in the circle, right? Yep. Or enter it, I think. Or enter it for the first time. That's why they got hit yeah. the right there. Mm-hmm. When he cast it, they technically entered for the first time. Yep. I know some DMs rule that another way, but you know, fuck you. You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I think there's literature out there that says I'm wrong, but you know what? Conviction, <laughs> Conviction's half the battle. Uh, Vanarin. All right. Uh, how close are those strips that we exited? Uh, they are like right behind you. So from where Susie is, it's about a five foot game. Yeah. Um, I'm going to then back away, um, like right next to Susie then. So, like right here? Uh, even for, like, uh, on the, uh, I think that's next to Ryoko and Susie. You want to be in between them? Yes. Like here? Yep. So basically I want to be on the edge of the curtains. You're going to take an attack of opportunity. I know. All right. And he attacks me with disadvantage? Uh, Is a straight roll? Straight roll, yeah. Uh, uh, If they're recklessing, it's only on their main attacks, not Uh, on uh, opportunity attacks. Technically, that's true. Yeah, that's technically true. All right, fair point. Oh, that's I know because I plan on taking that too. <laughs> and I can't reckless on my opportunity attack, so why should they? 17? <laughs> uh, that does sure hit. <clears throat> that is and me damn. Sorry, man. Not for you, buddy. Well, 10 no, damage. It's, it's, it's planned. Um, taking 10 damage. Um, and then um, before uh, I go into the curtains, I, uh, I cast Haste Twinned. On both Moni uh, and uh, Ryoko. Uh, sorry, Roland, it's a fair fight for you. <laughs> I didn't ask you. So. <laughs> it's not the time to have a fair fight, but all right. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. Um, yeah, I cast it on both uh, Moni and Ryoko, and then I uh, go into the curtains, hoping it would kind of uh, provide me a bit of cover. All right. Slide into the meat curtain. Yeah. Curtain. Nope. Stop it. Yeah, we're gonna. <laughs> I'll just. Die. I'm gonna draw I'm the trying. line there. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. It's worse than what was it? Wrap your hammer. What? <laughs> Cover your <laughs> hammer. That's what it was. <laughs> All right. Anything else, Van? From you. Um, and that'll be the end of my turn. All right. I really rolled lower than everybody. Huh? He's going to move up, and that is it. We saved the best for last, Roland. <laughs> but then Vanarin ended up getting higher than you, so this is awkward. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Hurt. Oh, what a way to start the game. <laughs> How about it, Roland? Ow, I take the D4 psychic damage from being assaulted. Um... <laughs> No, I will go ahead and use my bonus action to first, uh, like, steady my body and go into my rage. Um, and then I'm going to use my mana to attack. Um, actually. Mm. Should I? Yeah. 
I'm gonna use yeah, I am gonna use my action to attack. Uh, I make two unarmed strikes against uh, Mev. First one is going to be natural twenty. <sighs> Who said I was saving my rolls for the actual fight? I love you. <laughs> you were right. All right, and that is um, okay. Not a lot of damage, but I'll take it. Nine plus the rage, which is two. Oh, actually, did it take into account a range? Yeah, I did. Okay, eight. Nine damage on the first strike. Second attack is, ooh, not as good. 12 to hit? No. All right, so one second attack will not strike. And that is going to be it for me. I will end my turn. All right. Ryoko. Okay, um, let's see. And you How far haste. away? What? Yeah. Don't forget you, you have, have haste. haste. I don't fully know what to do with haste. Uh, you have a Basically, whole extra action. Yeah, you get to attack oh. extra time. And you also move faster, and you have two more AC. Okay, I like all of that. Okay. Um, I am going to pull out my rapier. And I want to, I lost my dice. Um, I want to stab at the man's that's in front of me, the one in the like silver. Okay, cool. Cool. Roll it. Nineteen. Ooh. Oh, that hits. Yay. Okay, let's see. Five damage, and then I do I get an extra something that you guys were saying with the haste? An extra attack. Or is that an extra attack? So can I yeah. can I swipe at him again? Absolutely. Yes, that's what I want to do. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Give him Twenty-one. <laughs> that hits. I never would have thought that guy would end up killing kids at the end of that movie. Three damage. I don't know what movie you're talking about, but it's a very interesting thing. And then that oh yeah, hard. super great. Yeah, it's a <laughs> it's a little. It's a uh, it's about a it's about a father that'll just do about write about anything to try to protect his uh, secret affair with yeah. his wife, uh, but he's not supposed to have because his religion doesn't allow him to get married. Uh, yeah, he wants yeah. his son to join uh, his work, but he won't. Yeah, but that's the sequels, though. Sequels oh. that were technically first. Yeah, you know, uh, for and, an indie <laughs> film, they really derailed that franchise. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, it's, it was pretty low budget. It's not really a lot very heard of, you know. It's pretty obscure, pretty out there. Yeah. I heard Bollywood made a better one. Did they? I, I'm very <laughs> curious now. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I would like to see the Bollywood. There's a lot of dancing and singing involved. I'm okay with that. I I don't I wouldn't mind, honestly. I feel like I always felt like some of the the, the some of the themes could be expressed better in song slash dance. Uh Su Susie. Hello. Alright, I am going sorry, I was making sure. The wool wasn't being pulled over my eyes, and I was falling for something, but we're good. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's the cloak over everything again. Okay. Um, I'm going to do Witch Bolt. And I'm going to cast... What? Who? Me. I'm going to cast Witch Bolt, but I'm going to do it on yeah. the... Um, Hi, Griffin. Has he... Also, Medesky, I like your quote. The oh, quote thank you, you gave me it was really good. <laughs> <laughs> um, has the character in the silver armor been attacked yet? I've been trying to focus the that one's been hit. Yeah, everybody here is taking damage. Sweet. Then I'm gonna focus on the one right in front of me because I'm the little green one, right? So yes, the silver you're the guy. Little green one. The little yeah. green one. Cool. I do that. The one, the one directly in front of you is Ryoko. No, right. the, 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 the silver, the silver okay. one. Yeah. Okay. Be very clear on that one. Just to be sure. 
And she's doing great. No vomiting, no weird poops. Sorry, I'm just making sure it's a ranged attack. It is. That was a 12. I need my 20. 12 plus 6. Does 18 hit? Yeah. Sweet. And I'm casting it at a higher spell slot because I don't really ever use the spell slot. Um, so. I don't know why I'm blanking, but when we roll for damage, is it strictly the dice or do we add anything to the dice? I'm sorry that I'm scared. Unless your spell says otherwise, it's just the dice. Cool. Perfect. Make sure. So that one is a nine. Oh, plus, they don't do it twice. It's just it's double damage. Yeah, so plus two is 11. All right. Oh yeah, uh, he he actually staggers when he's hit by your witch bolt, and then he uh, shakes it off. Yeah, well, not necessarily him, but uh, he does in a moment. Hey, Moni. Hi. Quick question. Yeah. Does an eighteen hit you? It does not. <gasps> wow. For reals. Uh, with haste, my nice. HC went up a couple. Oh, that's right. Hey, that guy oh, that just took his turn needs to take damage. <laughs> uh, as, as this guy swings at you with his great axe, you're able to block and parry. And, do and so. he does not find any kind of weakness uh, in, in your defense. With uh, gusto. With gusto. Uh, Ryoko... The silver guy right in front of you does a 22 hit you. Yes. And you take 11 damage. This is not looking good for me. Mev takes a quick sidestep. Opens his gaping maw of a giant mouth. And, and I need, need Roland and Moni to make dexterity saving throws. Cool. Can you make that wisdom save for spirit guardians first? Though? Like <laughs> <laughs> That's real cool. Those, those other two guys that attack also, please. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to remind me about that. Yeah, yes. I, I, I got they, you. I tried. I totally spelling. forgot. Yeah, yeah, they need to uh, uh, Mev passes his wisdom throw. Okay, let me roll to see what the damage is. What about the other two? The other two... I kind of want to just let it be. since The other two weren't reminded of their... But I am a fair and generous DM. The other two fail easily. Okay, so it is a 14 damage and 7 damage for Mev. Radiant. And my spirit guardians, I want it to be said, they look like the dwarves from Snow White. Oh, <laughs> no. Yes. I love them. <laughs> and they're just stabbing people? <laughs> yes, with, pit, with pickaxes, singing oh, okay. hi-ho. Is one of them grumpy and one of them looks like a little idiot? Yes. That's me. <laughs> the one trying to go after Mev, that one is dopey. Dopey fucked up. <laughs> awesome. Damn it, dopey. Dopey's making some horrible uh, mistakes. And you said you needed deck saves, correct? I need yes. deck saves from Moni and Roland. Cool. All right. I believe I and Moni, have... you have advantage. Thank you. I believe. Thanks. No thanks to anybody else, but I'm pretty sure I have advantage too because I can see them coming. So Danger 12. Yeah. Okay. I knew that, obviously, Roland. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Except I uh, might not have that yet. Oh. Yeah, no, don't uh, have that yet. <laughs> I knew that in the future. <laughs> I knew that. I failed with a nine. <laughs> All right. Glad I didn't dodge. You both take 22 damage <sighs> as a string of lightning escapes Mev's mouth and shoots through the two of you. Okay. I need to do a... How much 22 damage? 22 damage. 
All right, so that would be. That's half to twelve or half to eleven. So you gotta make a eleven, I believe. Dan, help me out with this. Concentration oh, checks. Sorry. Concentration oh, um, checks half the damage, right? Or ten yeah. if it's greater. Yes. Okay. So eleven. That's what I was trying to do. All right, concentration check. Here we go. And barely passes out of thirteen. Nice. Still have concentration. Hold those spirit guardians. We need Dopey on the field. We do. Dopey. <laughs> All right, Moni, it's your go. All right. I let out like a gimli level just snarl because that really hurt. <laughs> 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 and I go attack the guy right in front of me with my Warhammer while maintaining concentration. All right. Does a. W dirty 20 hit. Yeah, but go ahead and see if you can make that a uh, yeet 20 because you do have advantage. I do. Uh, it's a 24. Right. But still, all right. And the damage dealt, 7. Respectable. And I'm going to go in for another swing. 26, yep. and the damage is 9. Yeah, he falters as you hit him for a second time. He groans and, and writes himself. What is he? What? He's, what? What race is he? What is he? Oh, he's a human. It, uh, if, if you know, if you see the, if you see him through that lens, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you, my character's a dwarf, so of course I do. Very old school. Um, <laughs> take that, you ugly baby face bastard. Jeez. <laughs> Van, what are you doing? Um, I'm going to take uh, ten step ten, ten feet. I'm going to move ten feet to the right, uh, thinking that someone might be outside the curtain in front of me. Pop my head out. See what I see. Uh, and you I'm see gonna, a dude 20 feet right. in front of you. I'm going to cast a spiritual weapon next to that dude. Oh, all right. Uh, oh, and does a critical uh, 28 hit. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it does. I've lost my spiritual weapon mini. Uh, taking... Uh, 12 force damage. Then I'm also going to blast him with some mind sliver. So I can make an intelligent saving throw. All right, sorry, I was looking for a mini. He takes 12 damage. 12 force damage, and then I need an intelligent saving throw. These guys are kind of dumb. Two. Does he pass? Uh, not quite. Uh, and he takes six psychic damage <laughs> from his mind. Right. <laughs> and then pop back into the curtains. I hate it when it's psychic damage from the ankle. <laughs> Man so, over here playing strategically with cover. Your spiritual <laughs> weapon is going to look a little bit like an owl. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Well, what about Featherfall, which I'm assuming also came into this dungeon that I totally forgot about. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Featherfall. Featherfall is a spiritual weapon. Okay. okay. Your, I, your no, spiritual no, weapon looks like an otter. All right. Oh, there we oh, go. Oh, Perfect. <laughs> that's an adorable spirit weapon. <laughs> I think he's mean, too. You see how much damage it did? My God. Right. <laughs> that's an angry otter. <laughs> All right. Uh, this guy rolls a wisdom saving throw. Rolls a wisdom saving throw. Thank you for reminding yes. me. Yep, no problem. No Thank no you. Damage. What's that? Fifteen. It passes. All right. But I will roll because he's got to take half of that damage still. Good deal. All right. That is. Ha, that would be five. Because it was a ten, so. 
right. Uh, Susie. Oh. Double fails. I rolled with advantage, and it's double ones. Oh. So. Uh, yeah. Did he, like, trip Dick Van Dyke style? Totally safe. <laughs> um... <laughs> So here's the thing. He's absolutely terrified of flying dwarves named after emotions. <laughs> <laughs> and so he was just really distracted. He swung a little too high. Myth Susie. You know. That's how that went. <laughs> uh, which put it at rolling. Yes, I will. For my turn, uh, use my act. Um, I'll attack twice with my unarmed strikes at uh, Mev Shagan. Don't die. Uh, first attack, uh, 14 to hit. 14 does not hit. So I figured. Second strike, dirty 20. Hits. All right, so right hook comes in for not a lot of damage, six damage. I will go ahead and use a key point, though. I would like him to make for me a constitution saving throw as I attempt to send a stunning strike with his face. <laughs> I'm reading it. Oh, good. 23? <laughs> yeah, he makes that. <laughs> All right, and for my bonus action, I will spend another key point to take the dodge action uh, and go ahead and use my Dwarven Fortitude feature to heal up uh, one small little hit die. Go ahead and roll that d12. Cool, I regain 11 hit points. Squeaky chair is the power. <laughs> All right, and uh, that's my turn. All right, Ryoko. All right. Um, you were just sitting so still, Moni. I was like, <laughs> he's so under, like, no. aware of his chair now. <laughs> Actually, I have a really old school country style rocking chair here, if you didn't believe it. I'm joking, that? I know. Oh, I was like, <laughs> wait, what? what? <laughs> Lifted from cra Cracker Barrel at some point. Cracker Barrel. Oh, my gosh, that's so funny. Okay, um, I'm going to, you know, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it boring, and I'm gonna try to continue to stab at the guy that's directly in front of me in the silver. Ah, that's not boring. That's effective. Do it. I like effective. Oh, a natural twenty, a yeet Ooh. twenty, if you will. Oh yeah, <laughs> roll some okay. yeet damage. Awesome. Let's see. Six damage. All right. Can I use sneak attack? Or do I have to say it at the beginning of the turn? She does have advantage. Yeah. The DM contemplates. Uh, that's one of the I'm trying to weigh one. whether or not that otter would be enough. Well, no, no, no. You get to the she has advantage on the attack. attack. You get what? She has advantage if on the have, attack. You get to the attack if you have advantage. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. It doesn't have to always be Ellie, so. So I can Just, do it? Yeah, go for it. Extra 2d6. Okay, that's another five. Oh, yeah, those d6. Another seven doubled. total. Did you double Describe those? Describe it. You crit yeah, it crits. Oh, she killed it already. Doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! He's goner. Describe it. Oh, um, okay. So I enjoy taking people's heads off. So I'm going to <laughs> take this my is new lore. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm this going all started to from last tonight, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, yeah but from last time. Yep. Um, I'm going to slice his head off, and I'm going to. Smile while I do it, and oh, his God. head rolls. Nice. I think a little, <laughs> I think a little bit of Susie's uh, psychopath is starting to rub up. <laughs> I think so. It's you are who you hang out with. <laughs> uh, 
official yeah. ruling, Ryoko's not allowed to describe anything anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I brutally chop his head off. Brutally do so. Yeah, we'll Hi, Susie. Hi. Okay. So All since of that. I don't know if I can, um, but she <laughs> killed the person who had witch bolt on. So I believe it can then transfer to another person once they pass. I don't think that's Hunter's mark. I don't know if witch bolt does that. Witch is bolt. I, don't I know thought if witch it was bolt witch bolt. Yes. Maybe. Let's find out. Let me double check. On a spell attack, on a tag. Oh, maybe that's a different one. Yeah, that's nope. Hunter's Mark or Hex. You're thinking of Hex, probably. I think I might be. I cannot move you have, bolt. Yeah, you do have Hex, and that's probably the one you're thinking of. Probably. Thanks, guys. No what, a, what a dream team here. <laughs> <laughs> no, do now. Okay, I am going to... Who's the, who's, the, who's the guy in front of me again? That's not Ryoko? Uh, he's just a dude. Oh, poor dude. All right. He's nameless berserker enemy number three. Berserker. Yeah, that's, <laughs> he's in the credits. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just eldritch blast my friend here since I can't. I don't want to cast another. Why not? <laughs> Oh, I don't know if that hits either. It's a 14 for the first one. That'll hit. Oh, it does? <gasps> Happy day. So that's a 13 damage. All right. And then the second one is a 22 to hit. Hits. And then is, is 12. All right. Good deal. Anything else? I'll just like stride step like 15 feet to the left. You will take an attack of opportunity. Am I allowed to do that? No, if you I mean, leave his range, he gets to attack you. Oh, that seems like a weird rule. I'll stay still. I'm pretty sure we've been doing that. Yeah. It also works if an enemy leaves your area of effect, too. Yeah. It's just weird, like, oh, you're going somewhere, punk? It's not my turn, but I'm going to get you. Well, it's basically like you turn your back to try to get out of the area, and then he gets a quick little swipe at you as you try to run away. Not so fast. But what if I, like, moonwalk? and I never. Uh, had... That's called disengaging, and that's disengaged. action. <laughs> <laughs> it must Official be DM over. ruling, disengaging is now called moonwalking. <laughs> me, Anybody that does not action. call it moonwalking immediately fails their disengage. Oh my God. Damn, I didn't know it was a check. <laughs> <laughs> it is now. Table rules, man. Don't give me ideas. <laughs> don't give me ideas. Cool, that I don't do anything else. All right. Hey, Moni. Hi. Does a natural 20 hit you, bro? <laughs> Ask him if his wisdom save makes it. Did his wisdom <laughs> save make it? You could have at least corrected my English, man. You didn't have to use the same broken thing. I just said. <laughs> I'm looking. I'm kind of like looking at something real quick down here. No? He failed his wisdom save. Go ahead and give me some damage. All right. That's going to be 16 damage. Ooh. Wow, really? Yeah. He's looking rough, but he still hit you. So does Damn. a natural 20 hit? <laughs> it does hit me. Yeah. All right. You're going to take... Uh, it's not horrible, I guess. Uh, you're going to take 15 damage. Ow. Oh, gee, oh is it horrible? No, I'm still alive. All right. It's only a flesh wound. <laughs> Says after taking that 22 lightning damage to the face and the 15 <laughs> I'm, really I'm, I'm looking like the Black Knight from Monty Python almost. Yeah, what part of it? <laughs> Full no limbs. No. I, I think I got well, like one limb left. You're hopping around on the one leg and just headbutting? Yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> you guys are All right. 
Uh, Mev Shagin turns and makes a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> and makes a wisdom saving throw. I'm, I'm so Cody, you might want to roll that damage right now just to get ahead of it. Uh, right. Yeah, he failed his wisdom save. Hell yeah. That's going to be 15 damage. Great. Now Ryoko and Susie need to make dexterity rolls. Dexterity saving throws. Is it against magic? No. Okay, I just got advantage on this. I got a 15. <clears throat> and Ryoko, you also have advantage. 21. Wait, what does that mean? You can roll again. Why take the better one? 17. I accept the better one. <laughs> <laughs> You each take 10 damage as a streak of lightning shoots through your bodies. That came out of Mesh again. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you for laughing. (laughs) I was shocked. That was a good one. (laughs) Uh, Please add one inspiration point to Ryoka. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Moni. Yes. Here go. All right. So, my first move I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the mofo in front of me with my hammer. Okay. And does a 10 hit? Oh, wait, I have advantage. Does a 12 hit? No. <laughs> Only slightly better. Only slightly better. And then next, I'm going to drop my my spirit guardians as I cast <laughs> Mass Healing Word. Ooh. Not Mass Healing Word, sorry. Uh, which one is it? I have it here. Oh. Prayer, Prayer of Healing. Okay. So everybody, pretty much everybody here gets plus, that's going to be 25 plus. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 30 healing. Everybody gets 30 healing. Oh, it's Everybody good. gets 30 healing, and Mev Shagin really thanks you for it. It's your Except to for Mav. Uh, I already wrote it down. Except. That's a bummer. Oh. Uh, Moni, do you have to see the targets? Because I'm currently obscured. Uh, let me read that. Of the six targets of your choice that you can see within okay. range, I cannot yeah, see you. Okay. All right. All right. Mev, uh, Mev will just take 60. That's fine. <laughs> take 60 damage. <laughs> Roland's getting so mad over there. Uh, <laughs> we got thirty healing. I, yes. I do just need to yeah. specify I'm not actually healing these guys. <laughs> I assumed you were joking. <laughs> That's a dangerous assumption there. <laughs> All right. All right. Anything else? And that ends my turn. It's a great turn. Ten out of ten. Uh, <laughs> Agreed. I'm going to. Once again, go. How close to the wall am I to like my right? Like, uh, you can can't I... really see it through all of the meat curtain. All right, I try to go ten feet to my right and uh, kind of like feel for it, just to make sure I don't run into it. You hit a wall. All right, but I do go with the ten feet. Yeah. Okay, and then I pop out, and okay. I'm going to uh, go ahead and see that. A lot of people's wounds have closed up. Uh, have my sword swing at the one next to Ryoko. Um, if I can... Your otter. My otter, sorry, my otter. Yes. My otter goes to bite at some ankles. Um, does say 23 hits? Yeah, it sure does. Jesus, Monty Python-style otter. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a kill it with your big buff teeth. <laughs> dealing it's the beast 11 of the <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what, Van? Doing 11 force damage. Uh, and go I... ahead and describe it. All right. Really to describe this. <laughs> the otter immediately jumps at his neck. <laughs> 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 Do 
knew it. <laughs> By the way, I haven't seen Monty Python, but I know that much. Yeah, there you, go. you, you got it exactly right, man. Yes. He jumps out his neck and just murders his throat out. Uh, oh, yeah, great. We missed it. We had to go through uh, spiked meat curtains on the way in here. <laughs> the, the flesh of dead animals hanging above us, and then we just kind of like walk through that. Like it's like one of those curtains that separates the cool area in Walmart. <laughs> All right, and then um, I'm going to uh, uh, strike at the mind of the one in front of Moni if I can get an intelligence saving throw from them. Dude, you know you don't have to make this a fair fight between me and Mev. I mean, like he's attacking not... other people. <laughs> I know, but and also Moni's helping you. Ken, <laughs> hi. Uh, hey, I appreciate you, Moni. Uh, doing nine psychic damage, and I I drop back into the meat curtain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Faceless, turn that Sharpie over. They're not sponsoring this stream. They don't get any <laughs> My goodness. My goodness, all the rules. Hey, look what I found. <laughs> Yay! There we go. Oh, that's, that's the meat curtain. Yay! <laughs> Fancy. All right. Well, so if he's dead, okay. Rolling. Yes. Go ahead. Oh hell yeah! Okay. I'll see do you something. Again. Yes, I would like to <laughs> do something. Uh, do something. I. Ooh. Hmm. I have the one key point. Okay, I know what I must do. All right. Uh, I'm going Punch to make. You. Two on our strikes to begin with? No, screw that. Uh, <laughs> I don't run. Uh, first one, ooh, 25 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Oh, these are all on Mev, uh, obviously. I imagine. Uh, okay, and there's 10 damage on the first one? Hell yeah. Second strike, does a 14 hit? No. Okay. I'll spend a key point. Fury of Blows, Fury. two more strikes. 17 to hit? Yes. That is 9 damage. Wait, is that number with my rage? Okay. Uh, never mind. That's 11 damage. I don't know why my rage stopped working. Uh, and then last fear of blue. 16. Does a 16 hit? It does not. 16 doesn't hit? Oh, it doesn't. Okay. All right. Then that's my damage. All right. That's my turn. Uh, and I can't move still because that guy to my left is alive. Yep, that's it. Ryoko. My turn. I want to stab at... I want to take a good good little stab at... Um, at Mev. Hey, go run away. I'm all bye. <laughs> Super you fast gotta by. Get close enough to stab him. Eighteen hits. Oh, I was not expecting that. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, negate one of my last rules. Uh, describe it. <sighs> All right. All right. I got um, so far I... and tried so hard. In the end, <laughs> real <laughs> <for> my kill. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just wanted to help. Okay. Um, so I go over and I yell, "This one's for Roland!" And I just I'm like, right here. I slice the head while looking at Roland, shocked that he's still alive because for some reason, apparently, I thought he died. I don't know. Um, and the what head the rolls hell? off of my <laughs> the head rolls off of my blade and into Roland's hands. Okay. And I say, you're welcome. <laughs> I had that. <laughs> you did. You did great. I just wanted to help, and I was a little too aggressive, but I, I have at, no regrets. I look in Mev Shagan's eyes, and I don't know if he's like that chicken thing where he's still conscious for like a few seconds, but I say, yes, I would have won that. <laughs> <laughs> You get the feeling like he might want to argue, but all you see is a, a little corner of his lip twitch just a little bit as he bleeds in your hands. Yep. Yep, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I just, just kind of hold this and was like, a, uh, 
All right, we're still in combat, so I can't really do much. For it. Yeah, because I'm just holding this hand now. This is for last week. Susie. <laughs> Sorry, I'm counting the figures. Did we get everybody? Uh, there's no, one, there's dude. one guy left. Is he the token? Uh, no, the no that's, an, that's an otter. This guy. Oh, okay. Um... I mean, I feel like you guys are doing so good, so I just kind of, like, scuff the floor a little bit, and, like, all I do is <laughs> magic, and then I cast um, Witch Bolt at him. Roll the hit. Oh, I don't even do magic well. It was a nine. <laughs> oh then I kick the floor again. Like, man, you still back there? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, seeing you hold the the head of Mev, uh, this guy is just super angry now, and he swings down at you, Roland. Sorry, Roland. It's okay. Does you a 23 hit you? Uh, it sure does. Seven damage. All right, so that's six, that's three, okay. And that puts it at Moni. See, I'm really tired of the fact that he just totally ignored my existence. And I don't want anybody to steal him, just like uh, Roland's kill got stolen. <laughs> so I am going to cast Inflict Wounds on him. Okay. That goes with a melee attack, right? Yes, and that was a Yeet 20. Oh, oh Jesus Christ! What? So many All right, well, he turns into fucking vapor. Um, <laughs> he he had four hit points left, so just go ahead and you know, tell me what you want to do. You're rolling more dice than that. Yeah, you're rolling more dice than he has hit points. I'm, I'm rolling sixteen d tens. So, like, <laughs> God, what I, level did you cast that? I casted it at uh, level two, second level. Jeez. Eight d tens. So wow. Sixteen. So. I just, I just want to say, like, I hit him with the Warhammer, and he just explodes in front of me. Just, like, guts and everything just splatter everywhere. Ryoko just, like, takes the blood and swipes it across her cheeks like it's a war zone. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yes. No, no, he doesn't have any place in this game, I guess. Never mind. I'm not going <laughs> to... Good gosh. All right, yeah. Everybody in the room has been struck. <laughs> Eviscerated. Literally, though. I could have used that way earlier in the game. <laughs> this was more fun. <laughs> um, yeah. I, uh, I hand the head to real goes like, you want this or something? Uh, <laughs> kind of seems like you're going with like a... Uh, I don't know what to call it. Like, what, what do serial killers have? Like, an M.O.? <laughs> is this it? Ryoka immediately is proud and, like, takes the head and puts it in the bag of holding. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't we're say a word. We're stealing faces. We're taking heads off. <laughs> we are definitely We haven't a even begun to play the campaign in the Nine Hells yet. I can't wait until you guys get it. <laughs> I'm all, oh my god, it's taking names, not taking heads. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> Made some serious changes to the characters. <laughs> uh, but yeah, okay, so what uh, What else is in the room with us now that uh, just a bunch of corpses, corpses? As you look around, you see that shrine that they were all kneeling at. Oh, um... Mev Shagan's corpse, headless corpse at least. Uh, did he have any good loot on him? Anything like <laughs> worthwhile? Uh, he had some purple plate mail. He had a black cape. And he had a very long, gnarly looking glaive. With uh, Its blade was much too jagged to be practical, but it sure looks mean. Mm. Well, Modi, I bet you could make use of this plate. 
It's plate mail? Oh, yeah. I always can do that. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I'm, I, like, I'm pretty sure it takes you like 20 minutes to put this on, but like, <laughs> probably like immediately you... start changing into this oh, my gross God. used mail. Uh, yeah, there's like blood and everything. This thing is disgusting. Uh, you probably don't need a, yeah, There's a good portion of the armor you probably don't even need to. Like you can do the gauntlets, and then you don't like don't need the elbow part because it just goes up to like here. Uh, I'm a greedy bastard, so I just yeah, start fine. I, mean, um, I want it to turn gold as it just touches me. Yeah. <laughs> As you begin to put on this plate mail, you realize that it is much too large to fit your dwarvish form. I feel discriminated. Hey, just, just put it. Just look, look, just put it like in, a, in the bag, right, with the rest of the stuff, and like we put can try to get it. it I, no, no. I sadly put it in the bag. We can try to get it resized once we hit it like a town. Maybe in Kanye, you know, maybe glue gun can resize it for you. Uh, we'll throw the cape and the glaive in there too. Worst case scenario, I don't think anyone wants can use that, but maybe we could sell it. Yeah. Sound good? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I am not fitting it. Watch, I just shove these things uh, as long as Ryoko is okay with it, putting in the bag of holding. Let's do it. I All put right. it in the bag of holding. Awesome. What is? How does this shrine look? So as you look at this shrine, uh, you can see that this shrine is filled with abstract uh, carvings of dragons. Dragons' tails coil into intricate patterns and knots that flow across this. Uh, it was basically a very large stalagmite that has been that has been carved and painted up. Uh, the creature portrayed at the topmost of this uh, shrine is a five-headed dragon rising from above an erupting volcano. Other dragons seem dwarfed by the five-headed monstrosity that has been carved into this stalagmite. Uh, and all of these dragons seem to flock to its side. Uh, one detail that sticks out to you is the black head on the five-headed dragon seems much more prominent than the other heads. Hmm. Like, it's bigger or more detailed? In what way? It see, go ahead and roll me a perception. Okay. Who who's rolling? I roll. Okay. What'd you get? What'd you get? No, I got no, 11. you you asked. Yeah, yeah. Van, you roll. Yeah, okay, I'll roll. Um, let's see. Perception. <laughs> I'll take the eleven. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's black. The, the black head is black. It sure is, man. <laughs> <laughs> you might have spent too much time inhaling the like fumes from the curtain. <laughs> I have a livid intelligence. I mean, what? <laughs> Wait, I thought you were a wizard. The elf knows no. colors. <laughs> All right. Well, is that, does it seem like there's any further into this uh, place, or is this it? As you look beyond the, sh the shrine and slightly to the right, you do see that it opens up into a larger room. And as you look into this larger room that is also lined by small lanterns, you can see five large oblong shapes. Do they seem to be shifting slash moving, or are they just kind of, like, fixed? They seem fixed. I step closer towards the oblong things, seeing you as we did not find the crown. Toward the oblong thing. Go ahead and roll me a nature check. <laughs> uh, uh, actually, not terrible. 14. All right, as you uh, approach these oblong shapes, you, you begin to see small details in them. Uh, they are quite large, black in color, with veins of dark green running across them. And you recognize these to be dragon's eggs. Oh, God. And the, the, you said their color is black? 
Yeah. Black. The black head that Vanderin specifically mentioned. <laughs> it's black. <laughs> I know that color. That color's been brought up before. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I'll call everybody else into the room so they can see what I'm seeing. I come into the room. Mm-hmm. Same. As do I. There you go. Check it out. Punchy bags. <laughs> <laughs> And I go uh, as if I'm gonna punch one of the dragon eggs. Uh, before before you punch anything, I want oh, no, the other four to roll. To. I'm not actually gonna show. Okay. Punch it. Just to be clear, I just don't want to freak everybody out. Like, uh, no, <laughs> all right, no, I'm just joking. Uh, I want everybody I else to roll perception really quick. Oh, cool! Uh, about to get my favorite thing to roll. Okay. Nope, it's not. Ooh, wow! I'm fucking hell yeah! I'm nailing these right now. Feeling good. Nineteen. Still kind of pissed I missed four fucking attacks and I couldn't kill them, but whatever. <laughs> 13. That's great. Ryoko, what'd you get? 18. And Susie, what'd you get? A three. Ryoko, you see that, oh, in this exact same uh, chamber, away from the five large eggs, you see a small table with a wooden chair next to it. And on this table, you see what looks like an inkwell and a book. I go and I look at the book. Yeah, you go and you look at the book. I pick up the book. What you do pick I up the book. Do you want to like open the book? I want to open the book. What languages do you speak? I speak... Ah, where's my sheet? Did I... you lose your sheet? Don't lose yeah. your sheet over this. <laughs> uh, ha, ha. I speak <laughs> common, infernal, and undercommon. All right, so you recognize the script. It's written in infernal, oh. but it is not written in the language of infernal. It's written in a different language that you don't recognize. I ask my team, does anyone recognize this language? I can and I bring it over. Wonder. Um, um, what languages does everybody speak? I speak celestial and draconic and dwarvish. Okay. I speak the dwarf one. Okay. Elf, giant, and sylvan. And celestial as well, actually. Okay. Gnomish and speaks with small beasts, so if like a squirrel wrote it. <laughs> oh my god, it's written in squirrel. <laughs> How squeak, did you know? Squeak, squeak, squeak. Yeah, I'm imagining you... Crock exactly like squeak, 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 squeakers. <laughs> you joke, but in our last campaign, there was a dude who was raised by a squirrel. <laughs> All right, Beautiful. Moni, you recognize the language. Moni, what is it? It's draconic. What does it say? Well, it seems like this would be a translation effort, right? Because it's written in Infernal, but the script the script is Infernal, but the actual writing is in Draconic. Yeah. So, Ryoko, you have to read it out, and then Moni, <laughs> you have to translate it. <laughs> I read it out. <laughs> is that... I'm still, I'm you can read out. Read it out. in your language. Wait, I, like, well, I mean, you can read Spanish, and you don't know what the hell you're saying. Wait. <clears throat> because right, so it's like a frame of Turtle, reference. Right? The One Ring from Lord of the Rings. The One Ring was written in the language of Mordor, but it was Infernal script, or it was uh, Elvish script. Elvish. I'm like, wait, what? Sorry. Yeah, I'm I'm talking between like two different fandoms here. Uh, so <laughs> it's the language of Mordor in Elvish script. It's kind of. Yep. Bye. <laughs> Wait, so can can Moni just read it then? Or? Oh yeah, Moni has no problem reading it. It's like he's reading it in like a really fancy cursive. Mm. I have to say the calligraphy here is impressive. Oh right. boy. Well, I'll keep us in suspense. <laughs> What's it say? What does it say? All right. Uh, you read a quick passage from it. Those dope lyrics. And it again. says. Three were born, one of rage, one of grace, and one killed by that of rage. Oh, 
Was it? Hey, mm-hmm. Roland, I think you do need to punch them, but you have to scream before so. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, are you being serious? You actually want me to punch these eggs? No, it's a good idea. I, I, I might only have. <laughs> I, I as a medical should... practitioner here, highly recommend against it. Okay, I, I think maybe we should <laughs> give Moni some more time to kind of like read through this whole book and see what it's. Like. That's a good point. Maybe we yeah. shouldn't jump to conclusions with All three right. sentences. Yeah, how big are these eggs? Uh, these eggs are about as tall as you. Yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> Seems like a bad idea. There's five, five, of them. five of the eggs. Five of us. We each carry one egg. We can maybe oh. possibly make it out of here. Seems like a terrible idea. I like it. But hear me out, dragon babies. Maybe we, I, we can have them as our own baby. Look, you just remember those three around. guys we ran into, the Chosen or whatever. They were all riding a dragon. I can't or wait. sell them. Uh, look, you so you do what the fuck you want with your dragon. I'm keeping mine. <laughs> <laughs> I choose an egg and I hug it. I I recommend against that as well. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ryoko, is it warm? Like, is it alive? I'm- I am thinking about how I felt hugging, and I thought, man, it made my insides warm, but I'm just not sure how it felt to the touch. <laughs> it, it did feel warm. And it made my insides warm because it was warm. <laughs> <laughs> because I am cold inside naturally. But yes, because I just beheaded multiple people, and um, this is causing me pause. Will I stop? Absolutely not, but it caused me pause. <laughs> uh, I look around. Is there anything else, like a chest or anything we can find that potentially might be holding this mask we're looking for? Give me a perception. Down, it'll be as good as the last one. Yep, figures nine. No, you don't see any chat. Uh, does anyone see the uh, the mask? I see some black things. I oh, my good. Then we see the eggs. Oh, well, you also asked if I saw the mask. I don't see the mask. Okay, fair it's enough. also black. Does anyone see the mask? That, <laughs> Money, is, that is correct, it is black. Moni, are you still holding the book? I am. All right. Uh, as you're flipping through the book, uh, you do find a, a folded up piece of paper wedged in between some of its pages. I open up the piece of paper. All right. It looks to be a map. I... And on this map, you see an arrow is sketched in from the green fields toward the west all the way along the trade way where the arrow then turns north uh kanye is right on the end of that (laughs) arrow (laughs) sorry so two things one are we saying that somebody stole the mask from us and then quickly drew a map of where to hide it and they took like they just work fast so i'm impressed well i think the the map is currently pointed at kanye so unless they took it back to kanye okay that makes way more sense than what i was thinking second I'm that's yeah. where they were. also we- there's a small inscription written in draconic in the corner of the map what does it say it says everything must be freighted north to Niratar. Say it one more time. Everything must be freighted north to Niratar. Nirotan? Niratar. Niratar. Slightly related to Reptar. <laughs> not at all related to Reptar. Well, there's dragon eggs. Reptar is not a dragon. Hey, can we roll a quick oh, or something to see? And I don't know if we covered this already to see if we know like how far a dragon mom will wander from her eggs or something, just so we don't have any fun surprises. Give me a nature roll. Nature I roll. I don't think anybody thought of that. <laughs> yeah. Good call. I don't think it was a great roll though. I'm about to steal some dragon eggs. It was only a nine. 
Yeah, just as you're wondering that exact thing. <laughs> oh no. You hear a deep, rageful roar fill the cavern. And I grab my stomach. Like, yeah, I'm hungry. hungry. <laughs> There's some dragon eggs. Oh, man. <laughs> so we could do the horrible thing and smash them and run. Or, <laughs> or well, they're also cover. They're I not going to kill their own eggs. You're you going to have that? that option here, uh, you know, next week. Yep, yep. I know. I'm just... You have a week to weigh your options. Putting that out there for toy... everybody to think about this. We can also Toy Story it. Wear the eggs. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Break through the eggs and just like, hang out in there. That's so funny. <laughs> you can escape it. What? <laughs> oh, it's perfect. Wait. Awful. All right. That's awesome. What kind of game are we running here? Yeah. <laughs> a wild a one. It is a wild one. My goodness. All right. So, yeah, next week, you guys are going to find out what's at the other end of that uh, roar. It's going to be I'm great. So I'm so excited, excited for you guys. Not a clue what it is. I yeah, it is. Taylor Twift singing her songs. Anything. Anything at all. It's a voice all box right. with the dragon's roar. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to end it there. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. And uh, <laughs> join us next week for a uh, total party wipe. I mean, more combat. Damn, if you guys <laughs> say bye to D-backs. Huh? Did you see him talk about... He's Dr. Captain Snackpacks. <gasps> Captain Snackpacks here? Yeah. yeah. Hi. Hi, friend. Hi, friend. I tried to get your attention, and I couldn't... I don't. Once the game is going, I'm not in chat just because I would like of everything else that's going on. Like I'll very rarely be able to catch anything. He's concentrating. Yeah, it's so <laughs> hard. It's concentrating yeah, so hard. There was a lot. Ooh. And Griff is here too. Yeah. I got Griff, Captain Snack Pack, apparently Katy Perry. Apparently Katy Perry. <laughs> She's upset that you didn't choose to base your character off of her. That's so funny. She's like, you pick you 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 pick the side and you you pick the wrong one. You know what? Katie Carey is showing up. <laughs> oh man, please! Swift and Katy Perry, and it's gonna be such a good campaign. Oh, and she's God. gonna be on a mount. She's mount on mount. It's a dark horse. She's gonna be riding a sword in the battle. Oh Is she God, going to be a tabaxi? She's gonna summon shark. <laughs> Faceless is going to have a lot of fun, including like yeah. pop culture references, thanks to Majeski <laughs> making herself. Yeah, it's about the only pop character. culture Thankfully, I chose a character that everyone hates in the um, famous world, so there's a lot of material here. Damn. <laughs> really recent, though. That's is true. It? Yeah. Um, well, I think recently things have calmed down for her because she met Joe and just kind of is focusing on her music now. And she just Joe, have... mama. <laughs> Joe, She's mama. Joe, mama. Sorry. I can help myself. That's really Ooh. funny. Because <laughs> in my head, I asked, I was like, Joe who? And I was like, oh, uh, Joe Mama. <laughs> Mama. I got myself. The natural progression. Nope. I love it. Oh, boy. All right. Hi, uh, everybody. Oh, you great. need to dress up as a shark, dude. This has yeah. been asked by chat. Chat has requested it. Some someone's gonna need to, you know, point me in the right direction to find a shark costume and Party City. It's almost October. You got this. I uh, don't go to Party City anymore. Halloween. We have City. a Spirit Halloween. Halloween City. City. That one. Yeah. Well, we're not. They're not sponsoring us. We can't talk about. These Damn it! That's right. Or until generic you know, party we're... costume place. Generic. Yeah. You know, I'll just go on the the Googles and find something. You know who does stream? Everybody. 